guys, in our last video we had this simple little game here that has us chasing after these presents and avoiding the little bad guy here who's trying to catch us. And when we touch him, we start shaking, shaking around until we catch a present and then we stop shaking. So it's a nice simple game. But we want to add a score counter so that we can have a little bit more um, bit more fun with the game. So let's add a score counter. So to do the score counter we have to have some way of adding up the score. And to do this we're going to use a variable. And we're going to, a very well, a variable is basically a container that holds information. Okay, it's like a box. It holds information. So I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to put it right at the top here go here but it needs to be somewhere at the start of the game. Move this down a bit. So the name of our variable will be score so that we know what we're dealing with. Create. So we've set score and we're going to give it a value to start with. Which will be going to math actually. The score will be zero. So that sets our score in place to zero. Now when we run the game, we don't see the score written. <coughs> so we want the score to appear when. We could have it appear at the two second mark. That would be good. Or we could have it appear when we get our first touch of the present. And I think that would be a good place to start. So we're going to add text. And with Sprite Lab, we don't have a lot of options. We can either have a title screen or we can have a text box. And maybe we can have a text box. So we're going to add a text box that says, we don't want it to say hello world. Um, we might have it show up for two seconds. Or even longer, let's, let's make it 10 seconds. Instead of it saying hello world. So we're going to take that away and we're going to add in here, join, because we want to join the text with the variable that we called score. Get in there, going to add some text. And that's going to say score. Space. And we're going to join that with the variable called score. So let's see what happens when we run this game. Let's test it out. Now, what did I do wrong? I do this now. I didn't change the sprite here or the costume. So when we want the, um, there isn't a sprite call that looks like that, so we want it to be our good guy. Run. He's saying score is zero. Now, why is the score zero? Well, we haven't asked it to do anything with the score yet. So we've put the score, we've asked it to say something, but we haven't done anything to increase the score. So we're going to do something with that. So we're going back to variables and we're going to change the score. And we're going to set the score in here. So when the our good guy touches the present, we're going to increase the score. 
set score to, and we want to do this before we do our little um, little speech bubble. Score to, and what we're we going to do, we're going to add one point to it. So we're going to set the score. We could go set the score to one, and change that to a one, but that's not going to work because that's going to mean every time it touches the present, it's going to be one. So that's no good. We want to set the score to, and we're going to go into the maths part. I'm going to select this one. And it's going to be, we take that one out, go back to variables, we'll get our score variable. And we're going to put that in there because we want to include whatever the score is. So if the score is 15, we want it to be the score plus one. So every time we touch that, it's going to go score plus one will be whatever score is. So score will equal score plus one. When we touch it again, it'll be score, which is plus one, which will be two. If we touch it a third time, it'll be score plus, which is now two, plus one more, which is three. I hope that makes sense. So let's run it and see what happens. Okay, we have a score. Now notice that when I'm being touched by the bad guy, my score still goes up. It's not re it's not doing anything. It's we're not losing any score. So let's make this a little bit more challenging. When we touch the bad guy over here, we're going to have the score go down. So we're going to set the score. So we'll go back to variables. We're going to set score and we're going to attach that to this action over here or to this event. So on the event of the good guy touching the bad guy or our main character touching our enemy, we're going to set the score to something else. So go back to variables, get our score variable. And if this is the first time you've looked at variables, I suggest you go back and look at um, another video from code.org that talks about how variables work because it's an important thing to understand when doing this sort of thing. So we're going to set the score to score. That's not what we're going to use. Going back into our math thing. Put that there. Take that away. Go back to variables. Get the score variable. Score, we could go minus one. Every time we touch the bad guy, we might we lose a point. Let's just see what happens. Now, as you can see, when we touch this, the score isn't changing, but we go here. That's because the only time that we show what the score changes to is when we touch one of these. So we need to have this update as well. So we need to add another say command. So where did I get that from? Under behaviors, was it? Nope. Under sprites. No, nope, it's under text actually. So we're going to add, change it to that. Maybe we'll get, I don't know, we'll keep it as that. Say, and we'll take that away. We need another join. Uh, where did I find that? Under text, join two things. Then we want um, a 
this one. In fact, should have been the same for this one as well. I'm going to take that away there. Copy, paste. Put that in there. Alright, just fix that up. That looks better. Score, colon, spacebar, and we're getting the variable called score. And 10 seconds, I think, is too long. Let's make it two seconds. And let's make this two seconds as well. So let's see how that works. Run. So far, so good. Now watch what happens when we touch him. All right. Score's going down. Now the score's going back up again. Now, you could have it so that when the bad guy gets touched, instead of the score going down by one, you could just set the score zero. Reset the score and start over. And I think that is a far more interesting game Yep, that's a better game. Now, maybe you don't want it to have the little speech bubbles on top of the characters. You could change your user title screen instead of it saying say. So let's try that out and see what that looks like. So we just take away the, the say one. And let's add in uh, text, show title screen. Get rid of that, and we won't have a subtitle. In fact, we could probably just put it as a subtitle. So put that there. Instead of having a title, we'll just have a subtitle. And we'll do the same for. This one, get rid of these, we'll add it in here. See what that looks like. So that's always going to be there on the screen. Now we have a problem. What have I done? Ah, we've got to reattach that code there. Let's put that in. Run that again. It's good. It works. The game, you can have more characters, more bad guys. And uh, when you score a point, you could have sounds. But I think that's a good place to start. If you can get this working, you're doing really well. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye now.